the Mediterranean Sea, the boundary marker of Europe, Africa, and Asia. Interestingly, unexpected fossils have been discovered on the small islands located in the Mediterranean Sea. For example, on the island of Sicily, Crete, and Cyprus, there lived dwarf hippos that had migrated from Africa and became smaller due to island dwarfism. It seems pretty implausible that these hippos swam hundreds of kilometers across the sea and settled on these different islands. So, how did these hippos manage to get here? The Mediterranean Sea, now a familiar body of water, was once a parched desert in the distant past. Approximately 6 million years ago, when the Mediterranean was a desert, hippos traversed the newly exposed land from Africa to Europe. Later, as this region reverted to a sea, certain hippos found themselves isolated on islands, shrinking in size due to island dwarfism. Interestingly, there is other definitive evidence that the Mediterranean Sea was once a desert. In 1970, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in the United States stumbled upon a curious oh. layer of earth while exploring the Mediterranean. They found thick deposits of rock salt. Astonishingly, the salt domes discovered at that time were about 1,800 meters thick. Five years later, a second exploration revealed that these salt domes were distributed throughout the Mediterranean. In the southern part of Italy, on the island of Sicily, a massive salt mine exists. The formation of these salt domes and salt mines is a process resulting from the extensive evaporation of seawater, indicating that the Mediterranean had once dried up in the past. This event was named the Messinian Salinity Crisis by scientists, or more simply put, the Mediterranean Evaporation Event. So, how did a vast sea with an area of 2.5 million square kilometers evaporate completely? Scientists found the answer at the Strait of Gibraltar. The Mediterranean is maintained by the flow of seawater from the Atlantic through the Strait of Gibraltar. If this strait were to become blocked, the hot and dry climate would cause the trapped seawater to evaporate, gradually transforming the Mediterranean into a desert. So, why did the Strait of Gibraltar become blocked? One explanation is the African plate collided with the European continent as it moved northward, sealing the strait. Another more convincing theory suggests that the oceanic crust around the Strait of Gibraltar became lighter due to the separation of geological layers inside the Earth's crust and rose, gradually closing the strait. Then again, some scientists believe the freezing of the Southern Ocean was the cause. In 2015, Dr. Christian Oneiser from the University of Otago in New Zealand suggested that approximately 6 million years ago, the onset of the Arctic Ocean's freezing caused a drop in the sea level near the Mediterranean. The reduction in seawater pressure on the tectonic plates made the lighter crust rise, turning the Strait of Gibraltar into land and cutting off the inflow from the Atlantic Ocean. Whatever the cause, many scientists agree that around 6 million years ago, the Strait of Gibraltar closed off, and the Mediterranean's water level rapidly decreased over 600,000 years due to repeated dry climates. They say that during this period, hundreds of meters of seawater evaporated, leaving behind salt that continued to deposit and form the massive salt layers we see today. This ancient Mediterranean Sea might have resembled a vast salt desert, similar to the Uyuni Salt Flats. However, since the dried-up Mediterranean was a low-lying, massive basin, it would have been extremely hot and dry. Considering the current average depth of the Mediterranean, some parts of the dried-up basin might have been up to 4,000 meters below sea level. In such low-altitude areas, high atmospheric pressure and the basin structure make it hard for heat to escape. Therefore, it's speculated that the summer temperatures in the ancient Mediterranean could have risen from 40 degrees Celsius to a possible maximum of 80 degrees Celsius. Additionally, the lakes scattered throughout were likely high in salinity, making them uninhabitable for most life forms, essentially creating lands of death. In fact, the sedimentary layers from that period in the Mediterranean show virtually no traces of animal burrows or other signs of flora and fauna. Interestingly, in 1928, before the Messinian salinity crisis hypothesis emerged, German architect Hermann Sorgel proposed the Atlantropa project. This plan involved damming the Strait of Gibraltar for hydroelectric power, 
while also lowering the Mediterranean's water level to create new land. He proposed that by damming the Strait of Gibraltar, it would be possible to secure a new land area of about 660 square kilometers, solving the problem of overpopulation in densely populated areas. This plan was seriously discussed among politicians, and Herman himself did not give up on the plan until shortly before his death. What impact would the Atlantropa project have had on Europe if it had been implemented? Could it have replicated the terrifying Mycenaean salinity crisis that occurred 6 million years ago? Returning to our topic, the evaporation of the Mediterranean Sea due to the clogging of the Gibraltar Strait also impacted animal migration. When the sea evaporated and land appeared, this became a pathway for African animals like elephants, hippos, and gerbils to cross into Europe, while rabbits that had been living on the European mainland were able to come and settle in the south. However, around 5.33 million years ago, the movement of tectonic plates and the erosion of sediments reopened the Strait of Gibraltar. Water began to seep back into the vast desert. In 2009, geologist Daniel Garcia, PhD, claimed that during this time, as the Gibraltar Strait reopened, a massive flood occurred with seawater flowing into the Mediterranean at a rate of 100 billion liters per second. This massive influx of water into the Mediterranean, flowing at a rate 1,000 times greater than the Amazon River, was named the Zanclean Flood by Dr. Garcia. According to him, the Zanclean Flood raised the Mediterranean sea level by 10 meters daily, filling it up in just two years. As the Mediterranean rapidly transformed back into a sea, higher areas became islands. On Menorca Island, isolated rabbits, evolved into giant rabbits, six times heavier than their ancestors due to the absence of predators. Meanwhile, hippos and elephants isolated on other islands evolved to become smaller due to limited food sources. The Mediterranean Sea has transformed from sea to desert and back to sea again. And in a few million years, as the African plate continues its northward journey, this region may once again become land. When that time comes, what new ecosystems might emerge in this ever-evolving terrain? Science is a window to the world, and this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.